what's going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is travis and i produce daily content for homeowners and new and up and coming heating and air technicians telling you everything you need to know about heating and air and on today's service call what i'm going to be showing you how to do is how to determine the correct temperature rise of a gas furnace and how to know that your furnace is within those parameters so if you want to see how i do it stay tuned and i'll see you at the furnace okay guys we're up here in the attic at the furnace now the first thing we want to do when we're trying to determine the, the correct temperature rise of a furnace is we've got to find the nameplate of the furnace itself because your, your range of your temperature rise should be on our nameplate. Our nameplate on this one is going to be located inside the furnace so we need to take these doors off and we need to find that nameplate. Okay, I've opened the door up of the furnace. Our nameplate is here at the bottom. Now what we want to look for on this nameplate is our temperature rise range. And if you can look right here on here, it says temperature rise range. And it has 30 Fahrenheit to 60 Fahrenheit. So your range of your gas furnace, uh, the temperature rise should be on the nameplate. We want to go to the nameplate, find where it says uh, furnace temperature rise. And on this furnace, our temperature rise should be between 30 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Now how we get that is we need to measure the temperature in our return, our temperature in our supply, and the difference between that will be our temperature rise. So let's go ahead and measure this on this furnace. Okay, what we need to do is first find the return of this of this system and we can see the evaporator coil is here so our airflow is actually going this way so the duct work over on this side this will be our return this will be our supply so we're going to take a temperature probe we're going to stick it right here in our return duct and measure our temperature here for our return all right we waited for the temperature to stop rising and it's basically saying our temperature on our return is 69, almost 70 degrees. So now what we need to do is measure it on the supply. Now we don't want to measure too close to our furnace. So basically what we want to do is always take our return temperature, probably about three foot down one of the, the ducts here. Uh, so that way there's no residual heat from the heat exchanger uh, affecting our readings. So basically here's a big supply duct. We're gonna just put our temperature probe here. Okay, we got our temperature here. It's reading 122. So our return was 69 degrees. We've got 122 coming on our vents. So that's about, that's about a 42 degree temperature rise. And we know uh, we're within range because our, our equipment said we need a 30 to 60 degree temperature rise and we're reading at 42. So we're right there in the sweet spot. So what this is good for is basically if you have a problem with limit switches tripping, that the furnace is getting too hot. Um, if your temperature rise is too high, it can mean you have a blocked up filter, your furnace is not on the correct speed, or your gas pressure could be too high numerous different things like that so if your temperature rises too high this is how you know that you're within range of what your furnace is calling for so something very easy to do so on every service call on every gas furnace always verify what your proper temperature rise is take that across the equipment and as long as you're within range you'll be good so guys Thanks for uh, watching. I hope you learned something. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, I will see you on the next service call. Bye, guys.